This just might be one of the most interesting hotels I have ever stayed at. So I love to travel and recently have been getting more interested in the different kinds of accommodations around the world. In this video, I'll be taking you around this airplane hotel to give you a glimpse into what it's like to stay here. Their most popular plane is their infamous vintage 1965 Boeing 727 airframe, which in its prior life shuttled globetrotters on South Africa Air and Avianca Airlines. But today, I'll be staying in their newest airplane home in the rainforest of Costa Rica. So I'm currently in Manuel Antonio in Costa Rica and I just stayed overnight in this airplane hotel. The property is called Hotel Costa Verde and they actually have three other airplane type hotels that you can actually stay in overnight. And this one particularly is called their newest cockpit cabana. And staying here last night was definitely quite the experience. So let's Let's take a look around. So to start off this grand tour, you have the front area of the hotel, which is the pilot's seat here. And you know, if you wanna pretend like you're a pilot, you can go ahead and steer the wheel right here. Last time I was in one of these seats was when I flew on an airplane with my friend who's actually practicing to be a pilot. I'll link the video up here. So that definitely brings back a bit of those memories. And now we have our kitchen area. So you've got a nice microwave here. You have the little stove coffee maker for uh, my fellow coffee lovers and you have a nice sink here as well. <laughs> Alright now on to this section we have our TV, a lovely coffee table and a nice couch that you can lounge on. And now on to this section we have two lovely queen beds. Slept in this one last night and honestly slept like a baby. But one of my absolute favorite things was when I opened up my eyes, seeing all of these airplane windows in front of me. And I mean, that's usually a sight that you see when you're flying in an airplane in the air. So it was pretty cool getting to experience that, but as a hotel stay. Actually sitting by window seats are also one of my favorite things to do. I always try and snag those window seats, but now I have it all to myself. And of course, uh, another little nightstand here. Got my grail water bottle and telephone. I kind of like how they have decorated here. I believe these are vodka bottles, so that's kind of fun. And I also really love the wood art pieces that they have here. So if you see on the side, there are one, two, three, four different pieces of wood artwork. And I think it adds a lot of character to this airplane. And on this section here, we have a nice refrigerator here. It's like almost as tall as I am. Okay, just making sure I was taller. Kitty. And then you got some nice shelves here. And then on this section, all my stuff that you gotta save here, more shelves. Yeah. Now onto the bathroom. You have your shower here, toilet, and a sink, and a mirror. Hello, hello. We love the colorful bottles that they have going on here with lights. And next we have our lovely balcony here. The best part is the views right in front of you. You have the gorgeous, breathtaking ocean, and actually there's also an island up ahead too. And there's also this lovely tub here on the side if you want to take a bath. And honestly, I didn't get a chance to do this last night, but I feel like the perfect thing would be just having a glass of wine, sitting in this tub here and just watching the sunset. And there are about four rocking chairs here as well. And what I also really love is the artwork on the chair. Again, I think it adds a little bit of character. And then you got a nice table here, which would be also nice to just sit and have a meal and enjoy the views right ahead. All right, so that is it for the quick tour of this airplane. And now I think it's time for some breakfast. They actually have a restaurant here called El Avion, which is also an airplane. So let's go ahead and check that out and get some food. I'm a little bit hungry. All right. Got my keys. I'm not gonna lock myself out again like I did yesterday when I got here. So I accidentally just closed the door and left the key inside because I was way too excited. <laughs> uh, my driver is waiting for me in front and we're gonna get transported to the restaurant.
All right, guys, here we are at El Avion. As you can see behind me, you have this airplane right there, and let's get some food, let's get some breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. And I think one of the nicest things about this restaurant is just about 150 meters in front of you is the beach and you have this gorgeous panoramic view of the ocean. Hola. Oh, see. Sí. We just got our delicious papaya drink here. Mmm, so fresh. Something that Costa Rica is known for is they have a lot of fruity drinks, so most everywhere you go, you always have the option to have a delicious fruit drink. Are you ready for Jordan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, we just got a breakfast. We have this assortment of fruit here, gallo pinto, and some sweet plantains. I love me some sweet plantains. I think one of my favorite things about Costa Rica so far is just how fresh everything is and how fresh the food is. So even though this is a very simple vegan meal, I quite enjoy the gallo pinto. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, just finished breakfast here at El Avion, and that was really cool. I just saw the food getting transported to the top. I didn't notice that until now. But let's go ahead and explore this restaurant just a bit more before we head out. Hola. Oh, cool. Do you make all the wood stuff? Yes. Oh, cool. Very cool. So this is all the artwork that we see in the restaurant also in our room. So this is all made out of coffee wood here. Really, really cool. I actually really love the decor here on the property. I think it adds a lot of character. As you can see, these wood pieces are really interesting. So another really cool thing about this restaurant is there are a hundred of these wood carvings here. Each one is different, but they're all carved by the artist. And it extends from this end all the way to that end. All right, now let's check out this bar area to the side here. This is the inside of the actual airplane. That is very cool. I love the uh, stickers here. Adds a little edginess to the plane. Looks like people have written their names down. All right, just a small plane here. It looks like they also have a bakery here to the side. Uh, let's go see what goodies that they have. Hola. Time to head out of this restaurant and off to explore more of the property. So up ahead here we have the bar and the pool area. And this was actually where I was sitting with the owner last night. And there are also different trails that you can go down as well. And up ahead, these are actually some of the other hotel rooms that you can book during your stay if you are unable to stay in an airplane. And ahead, probably can't see it, but over there is another airplane. Okay, this is probably the nicest beach view that I've been seeing because you can actually see the sand, different little islands. They have another restaurant here as well called El Wagon Pizza. We have a wagon here as well. Zip coaster. Hola. Hola. Alright guys, so they have zip lining and a canopy bike here. So I think I'm gonna head on to the canopy bike for a little adventure. But that one's supposed to be obviously a little calmer than the zip lining. Right here. Left right here. Good. Try to grab on here, okay? Alright. Perfecto. Perfecto. Got these bamboos. 
We are really up in the jungle right now, guys. Surprisingly, this is pretty chill and relaxing, even though I'm pretty high up. Toucan! Guys, see, there's an animal hiding back there. All right, guys, I'm gonna actually change my mind. I'm gonna go zip lining right now, but I cannot bring my camera with me, so I don't know I'll see I you do post. That. Okay, that was more fun than I had expected. I always am a little nervous before these things, but it's fine, it was fun. <laughs> Apparently there's a sloth in the tree. Oh my gosh, we, yeah, up there. All right, we are now checking out two of the other airplanes here. First, the cockpit cottage, and we are with um, Alan, who is the owner of the property and brought this entire space to life. We actually call them jet carcass abodes okay jet, jet carcass, carcass abodes. abodes okay what i really enjoy doing is building out new types of hotel rooms and so this is a smaller it's a, it's a full-size jet but it, it's 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 not one-third sections it's more like a one-quarter section <laughs> staying in there right now so we cannot see the inside unfortunately but the outside is pretty cool now to my left here we have the fuselage home which is a 727 aircraft and i think this is what coast verde is mostly known for that's how i found the hotel was because of this massive red aircraft to my left here that you can stay in And apparently, even though the sign is up here, a lot of people end up climbing to the top and taking drone shots, but I'm not gonna do that. That's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, guys. I'm pretty tired, uh, but it was a pretty cool experience. Just being here. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really would mean the world. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Love ya.